Okay, no job number yet, but I'm at Racket Club Estates. This is in Bellevue. Um, just up the road is the Pro Club. And uh, so just south of it on 148th Avenue Northeast. You drive in on Northeast 45th Street and you head all the way to the back of the property where 4416 and 4415 145th Avenue Northeast is located. Okay. So as you drive to the very back and you take a left, there's two areas where there's catch basins that need to be fixed. So there's the G building, 4416. As you come around the corner on Northeast 45th Street, come around the corner, you see a catch basin right there. But then you also see another catch basin that they put in at this location. Um, and they probably didn't need to do that. They should have just taken out the asphalt in this area and then redid the, uh, the slope going towards there. But since they've already got a catch basin here already, um, it's a small little one foot by one foot. Uh, you can see I'm standing over it and I got a 12 inch shoe. So we're looking at a one foot by one foot catch basin that's kind of sunk down into the asphalt a little bit. <clears throat> I don't think the boxes are very deep. But at 4416, right in front of the number three and four units, um, you've got this catch basin here that uh, we need to cut out. So I'm going to say, and we'll probably have to take the whole box and raise it up. So I'm going to say we do like um, a nine by nine patch here where we remove the three inches of asphalt. Looks like it's probably about two and a half inches, but let's assume three. Okay, so we'll do a nine by nine. And then we'll lift up that catch basin just a little bit because it has sunk down quite a bit. Okay, um, we, we want to keep it at a low spot so water will travel into this location, but we need to raise that up just a little bit. You can see they ran the line from there all the way over to the other catch basin. Um, to provide that drainage okay so that's the first one the second one is at the h building which is just across from it h building 4415 out here in front of the cat or the cross hatch you've got this one same thing about a 12 by 12 and this thing's loose it's hooked by these uh, bolts which is not very good Looks like they originally went into that box. So I'm kind of thinking what they probably should do is maybe provide another another box. I'm at I'm at the bottom right there. So it's only about a, a 12 inch deep box and it's toast. So uh, it's got it's got a insert here and here that are capped right now with a plastic cap looks like they're six inch uh six inch pipe or six inch holes you see they only got one pipe going in right now which this runs down that way to the catch basin okay um again not quite sure why they did this and didn't just uh try to uh redirect the asphalt but they cut it out and they ran a pipe all the way down there so that it could catch water here and run it down to that catch basin, okay? So they're gonna need a new 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch box here. So that means we'll probably have to cut out um, another nine by nine in this area here. Uh, might not even have to go that big. We could probably do this one a little bit smaller. So we could probably do this one a six by six to a six by six, remove uh, three or three inches of asphalt, but then we'll probably have to remove uh, some of the uh, dirt around this box. So we'll probably have to take it down like two feet, uh, remove the box, put a new box back in. Uh, it's gonna need a traffic rated 
lid on here so I'm not quite sure where we get these at but it will need probably a new just a new box and a new lid because there's nowhere for this to screw into okay so um, yeah um, I set a six by six around this hole put a new box in we'll have to remove a little bit of the dirt just so we can get the box out reinsert the box refill with the dirt there'll be minimal dirt that will be taken back out and hauling away uh, and that'll be with the asphalt replace it done deal there so uh, over here we can keep this catch basin it looks like it's good it's uh it doesn't have those weird screws that you try to put in uh looks like i don't know if that's the brand offco but um it's a 12 by 12 by 12 box oh, we just have to reset it okay so i did the nine by nine around this and now that i'm looking at it probably don't have to do a nine by nine on that we can probably shrink this down to also a six by six take out the asphalt three inch depth and then we'll have to remove probably a couple feet of dirt around that box you know one foot on each side just so that we can uh raise that box up just a little bit reset it put the dirt back down patch it up with new asphalt okay so six by six six by six that should do it um and then replacing that catch basin down there okay so our staging goes i mean you've got they're not these aren't labeled as uh, reserved parking so we can uh block this off we'll probably have to take one two three four five six stalls here might even need to take these stalls here as well we might even just try to take this whole run here in front of g so uh project managers when you go to schedule you might want to say we need to reserve all the stalls in front of unit g okay and then we go to do that one down there uh same thing we could probably just leave this area and park right here and then uh, cone that off i believe there's two ways in and out of here um i think you can get out going that direction and it circles around and then everybody that's on this side can go out that way on the north end okay so there's ways to get out of here on the north and south side these people in units 137 38 39 40 41 42 43 and 44 they're probably going to want to be parked somewhere else too for the day okay should do it any other questions uh, let me know